All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of a comparison between these two books right here. So we got How Dogs Learn and we got Accelerated Learning. Now I read both of these books, obviously. I would not be doing a review or a comparison if I hadn't actually read the books. This one, I particularly read um, a total of about four times, maybe a little bit more. Um, you know, not to mention the times that I referenced back on it a bunch of times. This one I've read a couple of times and uh, I read this one afterwards. This was the original book that kind of introduced me to a lot of the concepts of uh, learning theory, operant conditioning, classical conditioning. Uh, so what this does is it touches on a lot of things from, um, you know, a little bit of uh, basic stuff. So if you look at the contents there, you got the scientists, trainers. Uh, it talks about reinforcement. Basically, it talks about the quadrants, the difference between reinforcement, punishment, negative reinforcement, positive reinforcement. It talks about some of the studies that were conducted, like uh, Little Albert. Uh, it, it goes into a little bit of detail uh, on uh, Pavlov's experiment. Uh, so it goes over those things. It talks about, you know, again, more on uh, operant conditioning, increasing, decreasing behaviors. Uh, so it, it's not a super, super, you know, action-packed um, type of uh, publication literature. Like there are some out there that, that are pretty insane. Uh, but it does give you some, some really nice, um, you know, info on it as well gives you a little bit of history, um, you know, one particular um, part of the book that I, I really like is how it breaks down what escape conditioning and avoidance conditioning are. Uh, it goes into the quadrants. What I like about this book is that it, it's very thorough. What I don't like about the book is that um, it's not that easy to read if this is your first time reading it. If it's like your introduction to dog training and, and, and dog training terminology, it's going to take you a little bit of time and rereading and maybe possibly do an additional research to kind of understand what the book is trying to tell you. Then we got this book, Accelerated Learning. And here's the thing. These two books are basically the same book. Okay. Um, so the way I read this, um, this was almost like a layman's term, like a layman's translation of this. Uh, if you look at the table of contents, again, on here, uh, you look at the history, basic principles, reinforcement, extinction, stimulus control, you got classical conditioning, uh, you got, you know, increasing, decreasing behaviors. Um, and you know, the quadrants, if you look at the table of contents here, uh, you kind of have the same thing, you know, you got the history, you got the lingo, uh, classical conditioning, operant conditioning. Um, <clears throat> you know, this obviously has different chapters. It's not like chapter by chapter breakdown, but you know, it talks about the schedules of reinforcement, which this book does as well. Um, you know, stimulus control, moral learning theory, again, extinction. Uh, it talks about the, the quadrants. And, um, you know, if you look at these two, um, definitely about the same size. Uh, accelerated learning is just a little bit thinner. But overall, pretty much the same information. What I really like about this book is that it, it's easier to read. So if you're kind of a first time uh, if you're kind of new, um, you know, with dog training, if you're kind of new with, with the terminology and you're kind of new in terms of, um, you know, uh, learning the, the principles, this book is much easier to read than How Dogs Learn, All right? So How Dogs Learn is great, but it's a little bit harder to read. This one... Um, goes over a lot of the same info, but it's a little bit easier to read. Now the con, this is again, my opinion, you can read the book and decide that I'm full of, you know, full of crap and, you know, make up your own mind, which is perfectly, perfectly fine is exactly what you should do anyway.
But what I personally, you know, the one con I would say about this particular book is that because it is easy to read and, it, and it's, it's almost written in very layman's terms, what it does is there's been a, a few spots in the book and I don't, I don't remember them off the top of my head. There's a few spots in the book that because it's so easy to read, it kind of slightly, I don't want to say dilutes, but it does kind of slightly, uh, you know, maybe oversimplify a few things that should not be simple. Uh, whereas this book might be a little bit harder to read, but it doesn't oversimplify some things that are not meant to be simple. Uh, whereas I found that in like three different occasions reading this book. Again, I don't remember off the top of my head, but from the time that I read it, I remember that, uh, you know, looking at it very clearly and thinking, okay, it's a little bit oversimplified, but but I see what they're, I, I see, you know, the, the meaning of that. I understand what they're trying to say or what the author is trying to say. Overall, though, these two books are great. Um, more detail here, a little bit harder to read, um, you know, Again, additional chapters here. This book is great too. This one I like because it's easy to read.